on as the saying goes, milk does a body good. But is it always the case when it comes to the type of milk that mothers feed their infants? Former reality star and mom of three, Kristen Cavallari, got into a bit of a hot water for some, I guess, online because of her choice of homemade baby formula. Why? Well, I guess people were upset because the recipe included goat's milk. She said she chose the goat's milk option instead of what she called the heavily processed store-bought formula that contains glucose syrup solids. Critics did come out to say that this was a dangerous idea. I want to ask you, uh, Dr. Tanya, number one, is, is there any concern here? What about all this uproar that was caused by using goat's milk? So actually, I don't necessarily think it's the goat's milk. It's the fact that she was making her own baby formula. So big companies do make formula in big factories, but they've spent billions of dollars doing research on the exact ratio we need of the easily digestible protein and carbohydrates and all the vitamins and minerals that babies need because this is the only thing they're getting the first few months of life. Well, hopefully you're breastfeeding, but we're not going to go into that debate. So if you're giving formula... It's really critical that they get the proper nutrition and too many vitamins or too little nutrients can really cause an issue. And iron and folate, right, are the big things so missing from goat's, goat's milk. goat's milk doesn't have iron and folate, and so hopefully she was supplementing that, but it's really challenging to make your own, and I wouldn't want to risk it. And let's not forget all the food safety issues that can go on in your own kitchen. Well, and, and one of the other big things is worrying about raw milk, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the potential for pathogens and things of that nature. Exactly, and that's where we often see a lot, a lot of the issues. And that's why we have, the FDA has a Food Infant Safety Act specifically for formula. And so you want to make sure that whatever formula you buy, whether it's cow's milk or soy, which is what we would actually recommend if the babies were allergic or intolerant to goat's milk. I think she said that her babies were sensitive to cow's milk, but 90% of babies that are allergic to cow's milk are also gonna be allergic to goat's milk. And if they have an intolerance, which is where you have blood in the stool, it doesn't matter if the protein's from the cow or the goat. Do you think which moms are, are overreacting and thinking that their, their kids are uh, intolerant to cow's milk? Do you think that that call is being made inappropriately sometimes? Sometimes it is. A lot of babies are fussy. We know that. And often moms may feel that it has to do with something that they're eating or drinking that's in their milk. And we sometimes see it. Or in the formula that they're giving. So you see a lot of formula changing when often the babies will get used to it and grow out of it anyway. It can be hard to be a parent. It All can. this second guessing. It's tough. But it's really fun. You should try it. I know, it. but, but you, I, I was... <laughs> It, all, it, it almost felt like a call to action. It if, was. if I just was like, walk down the lot and be like, hey. Go to the head of the class. I think you read that right. <laughs>